Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for November 14th, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you all are doing well today. Just keep in mind, Cancer, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform. Whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right, Cancer, let's get right into it. Let's see what Spirit has for you today. I'm going to start with one message of love, Oracle Oracle card, and then one Spirit message, Oracle, Spirit messages, Oracle card, okay? So I'm going to get one of each to start your reading, and then we will get right into the tarot, okay? So let's see what Spirit has for you today. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, Show me the cards that I need to see for Cancer today, please. Show me that Cancer energy. One, two, three, four. Let's get one more. One, two, three, four. There we go. Find ways to fill your cup. Be self full. I'll be self full. Follow your heart and always trust your intuition. Go deep within, find your triggers, and address them one by one. Self-healing is the best healing. Only then can you offer the best version of yourself, okay? So you can pause this and read it if you would like to, Cancer. <clears throat> I'll read it one more time. It says, find ways to fill your cup. Be self-full. Follow your heart and always trust your intuition. Go deep within. Find your triggers and address them one by one. Self-healing is the best healing. Only then can you offer the best version of yourself, okay? So that is the Spirit Messages Oracle card. Let's see what you have for the Message of Love Oracle card. Holy Spirit and Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Cancer today, please. Show me that Cancer energy. Show me the cards that I need to see for Cancer today, please. Let's get one more. One, two, three, four. One more. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, we have Chaser. It says, I don't want to chase anymore. It could be that you are chasing someone. It could be that you have someone chasing you here that's kind of wanting to drop off. Okay, um, the Chaser, you know, it says find ways to fill your own cup. It could be someone that has a codependent energy here. So even if it is you, Cancer, it could be that you're just finding ways to love yourself first here. Okay, so very good cards for you today. Okay. Let's get right into the tarot and let's see what spirit has for you today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Cancer today, please. Show me that Cancer energy. Show me the cards that I need to see for Cancer. Let's um, change the camera angle so that way you can see the cards. Okay, let's get it. First card out is the Three of Wands and the Reversal. Okay. So this would be possible sabotage by a team member of a project early on. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, like a project or a team member. It could be someone that you're dealing with here in your life that's sabotaging a connection with you. It could be because of frustration over waiting, okay? Someone is tired of waiting here over something. You have the temperance card. So this is kind of like a blessing in disguise. This represents that something in your life is being brought back into balance, okay? So this sabotage or this connection that is stopping here is happening for a reason. So what else for Cancer, please? You have the Four of Swords and the Reversal. So this is someone that is continuing despite dire stress, someone that is refusing to rest and recuperate or take time for themselves here. Okay, someone could be very stressed about this situation. What else? And you have the Ace of Wands in the upright position. So this is a new start, new beginning. This is manifesting something from nothing, okay? having the option to manifest something from nothing and taking action on an opportunity in order to manifest what it is that you're wanting here, cancer, okay? So definitely two different energies, I would say. Even if it's one person here, I would say that it's kind of like an inner turmoil. Someone is fighting with themselves here, okay? Um, temperance is something being balanced out. Ace of Wands is a new start, new opportunity, taking action on a goal towards your manifestation. Three of Wands, possible sabotage by a team member of a project early on. And Four of Swords in the reversal is continuing despite dire stress. Someone that's refusing to rest and recuperate. So let's try to take it another layer here, Cancer, and see what's going on here for you in the present situation. Because it does look like it's either two different people or very scattered energy, okay? 
Clarify the present situation for Cancer today, please. Holy Spirit and Holy Angels. What's going on for Cancer? One, two, three, four. There we go. Ace of Swords. The High Priestess Reversal. Three of Cups. And the Mother of Wands in the Reversal. So could be possibly a fire sign that you're dealing with here, Cancer. Okay. You have the Ace of Swords in the upright position. So this represents a decisive victory, okay? The decisions that you are making right now are leading you to a victory, even if you can't see that, okay? With the High Priestess in the reversal, this represents like confusion or having a hard time listening to your intuition. Maybe you're not, no, maybe you're not sure exactly what your intuition is trying to tell you here, Leo, but you are pushing forward. You have the Three of Cups, which is a celebration. This is cancer energy if i'm not mistaken i'm about 95 percent sure this is cancer energy okay so you have a, a celebration here it could be you celebrating with friends or family okay and you have the mother of wands in the reversal which is kind of the only card here that i would say is kind of making it a little bit more clear to me that it is most likely someone that you are dealing with in your energy it could be a aries leo sagittarius it doesn't have to be it could also be someone that is aggressive demanding someone that is jealous or stubborn here cancer about decisions that you are making let's get one more to pull it all together and you have the judgment and the reversal so it's someone that you've been stuck in a cycle with okay it could be a scorpio doesn't have to be judgment and the reversal is representational of a scratched record playing the same part over and over and over again okay so let's look at the past leading up to this present situation for you cancer Actually, I want to get one. I'm going to get two Mystic Red Rose cards on this present situation. See if we can get any more clarity here because it just feels a little scattered still. Clarify the present situation for Cancer today, please. Holy Spirit and Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. Let's get two cards for Cancer in the present situation. Let's get it. One, two, three, four. Okay. You have the ship and you have the heartbroken. Now, both of these did come out in the reversal. Sometimes I read them that way, sometimes I do not. But the ship, it says, cutting ties, moving on, receive what you need, progression and arriving. A heartbroken card, it says, deeply hurt and sad, feeling lost, grieving and despair, and a breakup. So definitely something here either happening or has happened, or maybe it's about to happen here. It has something to do with a, a breakup or a separation here. Cancer is what it looks like to me, so... All right, let's look at the past leading up to this present situation for you. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, you got all these cards falling over, all over the place. <clears throat> Excuse me. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Cancer in the past leading up to this present situation. Let's get one more. One, two, three. Okay, too many cards. Let's start with one. One, two, three, four. There we go. Queen of Pentacles and the reversal could be an earth sign that you're, you're that you're dealing with here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone that's like stubborn or materialistic or jealous. Okay, someone that has prosperity but no happiness here, something to this nature. You have the Eight of Wands in the reversal. Okay, Eight of Wands in the reversal. So something is happening slowly. Okay, something is not happening as quickly as you would like it to. This could be uh, obstacles or um, different different reasons why something is happening slow obstacles or um what's the other word delays distractions something like that going on here you have the six of cups in the upright position so this is a person or a dynamic here leo that you have given a lot to okay now the six of cups can represent someone from the past that is trying to come back in and work things out with you it could be that for some of you as well I would say if that's the case, though, I don't think that this person has learned their lesson if it's a past person, because it looks like what they're doing is causing delays for you in the, in the past situation here, okay? Now, the good thing about the Six of Cups is it can also represent that you are giving to yourself. So if you're kind of pulling away from this energy here, this is you kind of pouring more energy into yourself, okay? And you have the Empress in the upright position. This is looking good, okay? <laughs> Definitely looking good. This is stability. This is resources. It can also represent fertility. Some of you might have a kid with this person. I don't think that's going to be for everyone here, though, okay? But um, I feel like someone sees you as a stable, reliable person that has resources, and they want to come in with this Queen of Pentacles reverse energy, and they're trying to be materialistic and kind of get some kind of 
um, resources from you here. Okay, it's, the only thing it's doing really is slowing you down with that Eight of Wands and the reversal. So clarify this past situation for uh, Cancer, please. Holy Spirit and Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. Clarify this past situation for Cancer. Almost said Leo. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo. One, two, three, four. Okay, I just did Leo right before this reading. So you have these six of swords in the upright position. So this is moving on from something chaotic to something a little bit calmer, okay? You have the nine of cups in the reversal. This is overindulgence or unhappiness. So maybe you're moving on from this person who overindulges or is unhappy in their own life here. You have the justice in the reversal. Someone feels that this is not fair. It can also represent a divorce or like a separation here because justice represents the court system. Okay, somebody definitely moving on here though, Cancer, I would say. Clarify. You have the strength in the reversal. Leo energy, kind of ironic. Okay, so it could be someone that is weak or deals with paranoia or they're weak over you. They don't know how to move on from your energy here. Uh, it's kind of like the Empress card here. The Empress in the reversal is someone that's codependent. So I feel like you might have a codependent person on your hands here, Cancer. Let's get one more card to pull it all together for Cancer in the past, please. Holy Spirit and Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. Clarify this past situation for Cancer. There we go. You have the Six of Pentacles and the Reversal, okay? Six of Pentacles and the Reversal represents individual selfishness and narcissism, okay? You could be dealing with someone that is selfish uh, narcissistic or there was an unequal give and take in this connection it can also represent that as well so hence the four pentacles on this side and two on this side so what is it that you do not see coming <clears throat> excuse me holy spirit holy angel show me the cards that i need to see for cancer in the future what is it that cancer does not see coming what is it that cancer has to look forward to show me the cards that i need to see for cancer please let's get one more one two three four okay You have the Knight of Pentacles in the reversal. So this represents someone that is unhappy with things not coming to them that they would like, okay? I feel like it's vice versa with the way we have this in the present situation here <clears throat> with someone that you're breaking out of a cycle with, okay? So clarify the future for Cancer today, please. Holy Spirit and Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four, there we go. Okay, you have the Seven of Wands in the upright position. Ace of Swords in the Reversal. And the Four of Swords in the Reversal. So I think we just had that Four of Swords in the Reversal somewhere. Oh, wow. It's the Five of Swords in the Reversal. I get those mixed up, the Four and the Fives, every time in this deck. So in the present situation here with the Five of Swords in the Reversal, this means that you're getting out of the control of someone, okay? A release, uh, an end to subjugation, freedom from oppression. Okay, so you're, you're getting out of the control of someone. With the Four of Swords and the reversal in the future, Cancer, it looks like someone is very stressed about that. So you'll have to um, know that in the, in the present situation here, this is you getting out of the control of someone. Okay, the reason that someone is upset about that Cancer with the Ace of Swords and the reversal in the future is because this is quietly referred to as the real death card amongst professional readers. So this is um, something that is dead done over with basically. And the reason that you have that here is because you are setting boundaries with someone very strongly with the seven of wands. You're not allowing other people to uh, dictate what you have going on. You're setting your boundaries firm and you're sticking to them, okay? So someone's definitely unhappy because you are not coming back towards them is what it looks like here cancer let's clarify the future for you holy spirit and holy angels clarify this future situation for cancer today please one two three four there we go okay you have the nine of wands in the upright position very good mother of pentacles the devil and the four of wands in the reversal so Pretty clear message here, Cancer, okay, that someone is, it's like same person over here in the past is kind of like trying to pop up and uh, bring obstacles into your life here. It looks like they're trying to come back again in the future, okay? They could be consistently trying to pop up in your energy. This is the Nine of Wands, which means that you're showing up as the Wounded Warrior. You're very close to a victory here because you've made it through all the obstacles that have been placed in your path. 
You have the mother of pentacles, which is understanding your values, your success, your abundance, and your family. Also a card of understanding your, your boundaries, okay? And um, this is what you're doing. Could be really focusing on yourself. You have the devil card energy, which is anyone or anything that is trying to slow you down or hold you back here, Cancer, okay? So I feel like this is what you're getting out of your energy. This is what you're setting boundaries with, okay? And you have the Four of Wands and the Reversal, which can be like a, a divorce or a separation. It can also represent to make sure that you're watching your finances, okay? Random message. But I, I feel like this is the energy that you're separating from, okay? So let's get one more for Cancer in the future to pull it all together, Holy Spirit and Holy Angels. You have the five of wands. So this person could be arguing with you. They could be coming in trying to argue with you. Okay, it could be wasted or scattered energy, which is kind of what I felt already throughout this reading. Okay, this person is kind of trying to come in and get you to waste or scatter your energy around. And the reason that they're doing that is because they're trying to throw you off your game. Okay, you've already set the boundaries firmly with this person. So let's get Big Bubba Mac to clarify some of the situation for you, Cancer. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, Big Bubba Mac. Show me the cards that I need to see for Cancer today, please. Show me that Cancer energy. All right, your first card, it says you already have everything you need. So this is in relation to the Magician card. If you're dealing with obstacles right now, Cancer, you already have all the resources that you need in order to work through whatever those obstacles are, okay? You have Sacral Chakra. This represents... Um, Someone that, uh, okay, it's either sexual or creative energy in a negative light. It represents codependency or someone that's overwhelmed with their emotions, which I think I stated already. I feel like you might be dealing with someone that's codependent here. Cancer, what else for cancer, please? We have Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You might have Pisces somewhere in your chart. Something about Pisces is significant here. What else for cancer today, please? You check in on everyone else, but do you check on yourself? So if you're that person, Cancer, where you check in on everyone else, but you don't check on yourself, this is what you're needing to do. And also, I feel like this is what you're doing throughout this reading already, okay? You're starting to check in on yourself more. It's not the end all be all. So it's not the end of the world. You know, this person was probably just supposed to be in your energy for a um, short amount of time, not a lifetime, okay? Maybe for a season, not a lifetime. What else for Cancer? You have made the right choice. So something that some kind of choice that you're making here, Cancer, you have made the right choice. Okay, what else for Cancer, please? Putting yourself first. Yes, very clear energy here, Cancer. You are putting yourself first throughout this reading. Very good energy for you. Okay, what else for Cancer, please? We have mad. Someone could be mad at you. Maybe you are mad at someone. Something about mad is significant here. Okay, somebody's mad. What else? Ooh. We have Scorpio, could be dealing with a Scorpio. You might have Scorpio somewhere in your chart. Something about Scorpio is significant. What else? We have D, someone's first, middle, or last name. Could start with a D, yours or theirs. What else? We have 444. This represents love, support, and guidance from your angels. You are on the right path and you are stable. You could be seeing 444 a lot. Okay, what else for Cancer, please? One, two, three, four. We have Leo. So you might be dealing with a Leo. You might have Leo somewhere in your chart. What else? It's too late to apologize. So it is too late for someone to apologize here. Cancer. Let me get one more to pull it all together. We have ancestor and ancestors. So yes, your ancestors would like you to know that they are watching over you. They are protecting you. They could be protecting you from situations that you don't even know about. So definitely have the ancestors on your side here, Cancer, okay? So very good reading for you, Cancer. Very good reading today. If you would like to reach out to me for a personal reading, all the information about that will be in the description box below. Along with anything else that you need to know about me, it will be down there as well, okay? Thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly appreciated, and it does help out the channel so much, okay? Be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys know what time I come back next Wednesday for another reading for myself. Your readings normally will be uploaded on Wednesday, okay? Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first. 
See you guys later.